two. The gate's trucking. Heading up 85 North. Going to PA. Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Then on to Pittston to get my APU worked on. So I got a whole bunch of calls. Well, I got two calls from Springfield saying uh, that you can fix it in Pittston from two different folks. So naturally, I asked them if they had all the parts in stock. Well, maybe, maybe not. Well, do you or don't you? I mean, it's a simple question. So anyway, I got a call from the mechanic saying, yes, we've got the parts needed to uh, take care of your APU. It's not coming out of my pocket. It's an expense coming from Thermo King. There's been some recalls on the radiator, the ground strap, the fuel pump and some software updated needed. So, anyway, I noticed it because in the last week or so, doing my pre-trip, I noticed that my level for the radiator, the coolant level, was low. So, we're gonna arrive Thursday mornings. My drop-off is at 12.01. AM to live unload, then off to pits and I go. So my mission today is to get to uh, Petro in Virginia, which is about 373 miles from the 01. Okay, you're going to take a ride with me for the next 30 miles. And this is for the rookies. When you're in the construction zone for 30 miles, it can get a little hairy. The roads are uneven. The cars and trucks are crowding you. Just be calm. Breathe. You'll be fine. Been up and down this road a few times already, so I kind of know where the bad areas are. But I'm going to be moving over to my left because they want all trucks in the left lane, as you're going to see by the sign. So as soon as I, as soon as I can, I will head on over. Yep, for the next 30 miles, you'll be riding with me. In a heavily construction zone. Now, if somebody would just be nice enough to let me in, that'd be terrific. But, I guess they don't see my blinker. It's 
actually a lot hairier at night with the oncoming headlights in your face. Like I said, just take your time. I'm doing the speed limit, they want you to do 55, I'm doing 55. When I first went through this, I was, I was nervous early on in training. I think this is my first major construction zone I went through. I could not believe how long it was, 30 miles. As you can see, there's nobody working. But I understand this has been going on for years. So. And it doesn't look nowhere near completed. But this is part and parcel of driving in America on the interstates. You're going to get this. Not as long as 30 miles, but there's miles of construction on every interstate. Every, in every state. And it can get a little hairy, you know, it can get a little tight. But I'm going through on a, in a good time. Um, it's just after midday. Anybody who's taking lunch is where they need to be. And of course, there's no school traffic teachers going home, buses at this time of the day, people leaving the office, so 4 o'clock in the afternoon is a whole different story.
cabin temperature set at 67. Just remember, always give a lot of distance. If I see myself catching up, I'm going to pull back. I'm not going to be like this guy to the right of me. Zones. You got to be careful for standing water because it builds up. There's nowhere for it to go, and that can cause issues. Uh, grab your tire and take your tire wherever side it wants to go. So, you should be cognizant of when it's raining out in construction areas.
much, much appreciation. So out of the 30 miles, I've already completed 17. So it goes by fast, but I'm not nervous. As I said in the beginning, I was, I was flat out nervous.
driving since about midnight. Filled up the reefer, 40 gallons in the tank. And I ended up uh, hanging out at the receiver for about two hours. And I drove over to the uh, 01, they had overnight parking, thank God. They got to the 01 at about 4 o'clock, and they weren't starting to do business till 8 o'clock in the morning. So, as I always will preach, sleep at birth, since we banged the dock. As soon as I got to the shipper at 4 a.m., right into the sleep at birth, my 14 hour clock does not stop, but my 11 hour stops. So I was able to, I only had six hours and change left on my 14 hour clock. And my mission, or my goal today was to get to that Petro up in exit 81 in Virginia. And uh, so I'm doing the 8-2 split. So when I started, I had eight hours to go. So if I would have just stayed on my 14 hour clock, I wouldn't have been able to make it. So always remember, sleep at birth, sleep at birth, sleep at birth. The 11 hour clock stops. That's your drive, that's your drive clock.
really mad. And like, I don't know, it's like they have animosity towards Prime. So now this person's been lallygagging many miles, seeing me pass him, and all of a sudden now he's got he's got a he's got a gas pedal. Funniest thing in the world. day.